Now to the annual rite of summer known as Comic-Con, which combines Star Wars geeks, zombie freaks, little girls dressed up as Disney princesses, and also a cavalcade of big-time celebrities. Yeah, as you can guess, it's also a complete madhouse, and it draws a crowd of more than 100,000 people. ABC's Rachel Smith was out in the middle of it all. It's a world where comic book and comical characters come to life to pose with their adoring fans. Where you can experience Halloween in July. It took about two months to do it. It is nothing but crocheting. Uh, there's no knitting. This is the world of Comic-Con. Fred Flintstone, meet Iron Man. It's like all the worlds are coming together. They're descending upon one place. I've covered Comic-Con International three years in a row for ABC's On the Red Carpet. It's an unconventional convention where Harrison Ford, first famous for his role in the original Star Wars, could bump into today's Star Wars wannabes. I'm the evil queen. The evil queen! Girl, you are looking good. Well, thank you. <laughs> the icy queen may be feeling the heat of costume competitors at Comic-Con. Different attire, interesting makeup, interesting hair. Queen's out of her comfort zone. I think you need to go back. Do not step on Queen's dress. You have to watch her step at this jam-packed spectacle. Last year, 130,000 Comic-Con fans, nearly half of them women, showed up to experience a world where, even if it's just for a few days, the outlandish are admired. Hey. Cool costume. Thank you. Thank you. For Good Morning America, Rachel Smith, ABC News, San Diego. I don't know. It looks like Times Square on a typical day. Yeah, that's yeah? fair enough. <laughs> Someday we'll release the DVD director's cut with Ron giving commentary on the entire piece.